Well, I just got our uh, first iPhone 12 in, and these things are just going to be a nightmare. <laughs> if you thought like the 10 series and up was a nightmare, this is going to be even worse. Um, so I'm just trying to dis dis disassemble the logic board right now, and okay, no problems, right? You got tons of flexes here. You got you got one hidden flex right here that kind of goes. That's, that's like tucked under, uh, let's see if I can get some light up in here, uh, if you can see it or not. Anyways, my lighting system is hurting. Um, there's one flex right here that kind of just goes under this, okay, no big deal, right? You just know about it, and you just, you take the tape off, and you just take it off, okay? But here, look at this thing, look at this dumb thing. I'll show you on the microscope what I'm talking about, okay? But there's a flex underneath the logic board here that connects to, I guess, um, something over here. Probably an antenna and then this power button right here, all right? And I'll show you under the microscope real quick. Hold on a second. So, look at this bullshit. Sorry for the language, but... Look at this bullshit. Um... There's a flex that goes underneath the logic board. <laughs> I don't even know how they would, like... I guess, like, reassembling it, no big deal, you know, but... Gosh, um... I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Look at this, okay? So this is a piece of tape that I tore off right here. Just kind of bend it back a little bit. But look! I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Right, let's see. Can you see that? Okay, like, you can barely see it, but I can see it under my scope. Lighting is just not great here, but there's a there's something right here that's definitely, like, soldered on. I'm pretty certain of that. Pretty certain it's soldered on to the logic board. I guess it's possible that it's probably, it, it could just be, like, adhesive that's holding it, but it wouldn't really make sense um, that there would be adhesive holding it at the bottom of this, because there's also a piece of tape on top of it, you know, so it just does not make sense at all, alright, so, 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 so check this out, check this out, so, in order to take the logic board out, here's what you gotta do, <laughs> this flex right here runs all the way, okay, so I think this flex I can separate, the bottom one I can separate, that goes to, I don't know what that is, maybe the power button, maybe? But there's a flex that goes up this way, okay, that splits up, up here, and it goes all along here. So you have to take all this out. Let me just look at our the scope real quick to see if we can, yeah, okay, I think we could probably separate it, okay, so. So you got like a, a foamy adhe double-sided adhesive here, which is no big deal. You put a little isopropyl alcohol, it separate it, and then you separate this as well, No, no big deal isopropyl alcohol, okay, so this flex right here leads down here, which I think is, I think it's the power button, alright, so you separate this, and then, and then, but you have to take out this big ass camera, unscrew these, remove this entire antenna just to get the stupid logic board out. <laughs> now, even after you remove the logic board, right, logic boards are sandwiched, right, it's a sandwich logic board, so, uh, it's gonna be a nightmare, I'll just say that, um, but I guess I say that with every iteration of the iPhone. Um, maybe not so much the 8 series and below, but this one's going to be a doozy to repair. And uh, I don't even know. I mean, every component right here is, is pretty much hidden by shield. Um, so it's not like you can get access to an easy filter or something like that, or, you know, if a filter blows, you can get access to it easily and just pop it off. I mean, maybe that's true. Maybe there's a bunch of foam here that's hiding some components, you know, but... Mm, if it's logic board separation, it's going to be a doozy fixing these damn things. Um, it's going to be a doozy. And this one you can see right here, it, it came in... I guess it was smash hard right here, and it looks like it looks like it's got a v, v, VDD main short. Um, unfortunately, the schematics aren't aren't updated. 
that well in ZXW right now, so I don't know exactly. I found, I think I found VDD main, but um, there's no easy access point um, that I know of, at least right now, on one of these pins where I can check to see if it's uh, shorted or not. But that's that's probably just going to take a little bit of work to to find a point where I can test it without actually removing the logic board, you know. Um, anyways, I just wanted to vent my frustration over the newer iPhones, uh, in terms of repairability. Um, you know, somebody came out a few months ago when they released this thing, uh, that all these, a lot of these components aren't interchangeable. You know, if you replace the rear camera, then the, um, something like it goes very slowly or something like that, and it just refuses to work, you know, if it's an aftermarket or third party camera. So you so essentially you have to go through Apple's repair program to buy parts, which I've already canceled, by the way, because I, I was just, I was just, again, I signed up initially, and I was going to go through the whole process, which was uh, very cumbersome. Um, and then, and then I think they said something like, oh, you can't buy third party parts or something like that. Um, you'd be violating the rules, so I don't. Maybe someone can, can correct me on that. But and so, anyways, I, I just I was just gonna. Um, there's no way that I was gonna be able to do that, you know. So and uh, it seemed like their repair program was just very like. Uh, it just took a while to do anything, you know. Um, you know, if you ordered part, you'd have to wait. You know, do you really want inventory on these things? And and like, you know, do they do they have little capacitors and filters? Uh, uh, so, anyways, good luck repairing these things, um, uh, maybe, maybe we'll get some easy repairs on these things at some point, um, repairs that we don't have to separate the logic board, or do, uh, too much work, or actually remove the logic board from the frame, I mean, I think that'll probably just take a while too, you know, maybe it won't take that long, but it's just a little bit harder to do. Um, so anyways, just wanted to vent my frustration here. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done right now. I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at this phone and see if I can find something with it. And, uh, and maybe I'll make another video with it, but I just want to get that out there.